Good evening. I shall be your guide throughout tonight's program. I am Marvin De Facto, and this is The Facto. We have covered many a mystery here on The Facto before. Bucket Jenny, threat or menace? Weather balloons, ruining our blissful ignorance. And of course, Cabrillo, bald and loving it. But tonight, friends and fiends, we cover something much more sinister. The depths into which we dive have yet to be explored by any soul, and so, regrettably, I must caution, viewer discretion is advised. Those of you new to our program are in for a very special treat you will witness the Facto's first ever iceberg-style investigation, wherein we start with common knowledge, easy facts, and basic information, highly researched evidence that is available to you, the viewer, right now, before we dive further into the depths to uncover the mysteries, secrets, and to air out all the dirty laundry of tonight's subject. This is not heresy, this is not slander, this is the facto. And tonight, we shine our light of truth upon real Dallas Salad. Icebergs, iceberg lettuce. Salad. Real Dallas Salad. R. D. S. An enigma. A tangled web. This is the impossible story of Real Dallas Salad. There is no better place to begin than the beginning, but it shall give rise to truth nonetheless. Let us begin in the open air. Real Dallas Salad is a variety Twitch streamer who, at the time of this recording, has amassed nearly 200 followers in his short career. You can watch him streaming games, tier lists, unboxings, and all other forms of content at twitch.tv slash real Dallas salad. Sometimes called the Blue Eyes White Dragon, RDS sports a pair of ravishing blue peepers, which he has affectionately named his Big Juicy Blueberries. He is very proud of them indeed. It's a big moment for me, as I've been with this hat for a long time. It's a big moment. So I'm going to just put this hat. Oh, no, I dropped it on. <laughs> dropped it. Hang on. Let me go get that real quick. It is well known that real Dallas Salad is never found without one of his many trusty hats. Bandanas, ball caps, 
and many other types can be seen, but his signature is a wide variety of beanies, often sporting a sports team logo. There we go. Get back in focus. There it is. There are even rare occasions which call for his hat to have its own hat. A powerful look for a powerful man. And there it is. There it is. RDS is a frequent attendee and occasional worker at various pop culture conventions across the country and has dabbled in the mystic art of costume play. Look at my Timu. Timu, Timu! He's, he's perfect. He's perfect. He's everything I wanted and he's perfect. Timu is Real Dallas Salad's best friend, confidant, brother, lover, and all-around chum. Found shortly after signing a blood contract to 100% complete the game Balan Wonderworld, which features creatures known as Tims, Timu was quickly brought home to RDS's loving embrace. Here we are, the tip of the iceberg. Our descent has begun. What can we learn about real Dallas salad from just the tip? RDS can often be spotted representing various professional sports teams, often teams from the National Football League. Strangely, he seems to have no preference no loyalty, no discernible allegiance whatsoever. Can a man like that truly be trusted? What the? Hello! It's P. A lot of P. Despite all the games he's played on his channel, and though his list of favorite games is ever-growing, Real Dallas Salad has a special affinity for the Klonoa game series. Perhaps Real Dallas Salad's most infamous vice, his love of horse girls, transcends all laws of decency. To clarify, this is a love of video game, anime, and manga girls who are horses, as opposed to those real-life human girls we know, who are simply just a little too into horses. Though the jury is still out on whether RDS loves those, too. That's right. Real Dallas Salad was born right here in the USA. Born and raised a Minnesota boy, he reportedly loves all things that his fellow Minnesotans love, such as Minnesota and being from Minnesota. <sighs> Wednesday nights are always good. Am I right? I'm probably right. music is gonna come down just a little bit i'll make that go away what up hey welcome welcome to wednesday during any given week you can find real dallas salad streaming on twitch during what he and his friends refer to as rds wednesday the day was initially chosen out of convenience and over time has become a tradition Though he does stream at other times on other days, Wednesday evenings are the prime cuts of that tender, juicy RDS content. Thus far, our investigation has been shallow, to say the least. Common knowledge, basic information. But that's all about to change, right now, as we prepare to dive headfirst into the cool waters below. I promise, it will be enough to boggle 
the mind. Welcome to the surface level. An avid fan of Bud Light seltzers, Real Dallas Salad elected to put his love on the line in an extensive seltzer taste test tournament featuring three of the top alcoholic seltzer brands to determine the true king of the seltzers. Seltzer Wars! Yeah! Check out this sweet seltzer tournament I put together of three different types of seltzers. Bud Light Seltzer, my personal favorite. Corona Seltzer, some idiot's personal favorite. And Truly Seltzer is my sister's favorite. So I am going to be drinking a crap ton of seltzer <laughs> to, to figure out which seltzer is the best seltzer whether it's sports pools, making bets, winning prizes from arcade machines, or just pure gambling, Real Dallas Salad has a lucky streak a mile wide. Though we don't yet know how he uses this to his advantage, we here at the facto caution you, never take a bet with RDS. Wait, I gotta do my one daily poll. Uh, that's paid that I can do look I get one and then we'll go back to the computer game Oh my god, it's her. Oh my god bro <laughs> Oh my god <laughs> Yes <laughs> Asking Real Dallas Salad if Mountain Dew is an alright soda substitute would be a silly mistake. Not only does he love to do the do, he proudly represents it as well. RDS loves many things, though his love for Jack in the Box breakfast is among the strongest. Pleading with friends, family, and all who will listen, Real Dallas Salad believes that Jack in the Box Breakfast is the true breakfast of champions. Real Dallas Salad's good fortune may have spawned its very own vice, an addiction to gotcha games. Foreign or domestic, games based on luck, random draws, and the occasional purchase are enough to draw in this rabbit's foot of a man. As an affiliated streamer on Twitch, Real Dallas Salad's channel points have been dubbed RDS Minis, which, after collecting enough of them, may be used by his friends, fans, and viewers to wreak havoc upon his streams, as seen here. I am coming! I am coming. <laughs> I am coming. I am coming. I am coming. This will definitely make coming. it happen. I, I am believe. coming. I am 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 coming. During his Romance of the Three Kingdoms arc, RDS was known to pull his army's brave leaders into council to discuss strategy and make crucial decisions regarding the war and the enemy. Some of these leaders would go on to earn the country's highest honor, the position of Dallas Salad Dressings. This is the strategist. Very well. Seems we have a three to one vote. Gator, you will lead the attack by sea. This ends the war council. Men, prepare for battle. It's time to dip below the surface. Real Dallas Salad. That name, where did it come from? What does it truly mean? 
to answer this, we must pierce the veil of YouTube's hellspawn. YouTube poop videos. An episode of King of the Hill, wherein Peggy Hill seeks to compete in a boggle tournament, is mangled into the accursed video you see here. Well, Hank, you don't have to you don't have to get up, do anything. You just have to get up, be, get up there. Unless you want me to go off to Dallas by myself. Dallas, Celeb. Crackheads and debutantes. Sunday! Guess who's going to the mower? During fellow streamer Some Sonic Kids wrestling arc, Real Dallas Salad was paired with a created version of unpopular Sonic character Jet the Hawk. The two would prove a dominant team in the digital squared circle, winning themselves a tag team championship, and entering the tag tournament of the fabled Some Sonic Mania. It is believed that the two are still in contact today. Described by sources close to him as, quote, the greatest coomer of all, RDS regularly exhibits a strange and twisted behavior, an affinity for provocative, two-dimensional content. Shameless in his pursuits, Real Dallas Salad is no stranger to anime games and videos that could truly churn the stomach. This is how big of a fan I am! Hashide! Hashide! Uumabusame! Hi! <laughs> Nerds rope. Not much is known about Real Dallas Salad's relationship to the popular candy Nerds rope, other than the fact that he. Yeah, I hope there's something better underneath this last thing of. is not. simply loves it. I don't like nerds around. Not one to corner himself, Real Dallas Salad's influence has spread to other forms of social media, including messaging platform Discord. The Real Dallas Salad server is host to channel clips, memes, artwork, and other sensitive content that shall not be divulged here. Once a fan of the game and media franchise known as Danganronpa, Real Dalla Salad, not unlike a woman scorned, has turned his back on the whole affair after a perceived wrongdoing. His claims, while always in a state of flux, do show a growing disdain for the series and an unwillingness to participate any further. I think it's time to announce the DSDs. I think it's finally time. I've been waiting for a good moment. I think this is it. Um, so anyone not familiar, the DSDs is, uh, is five of my greatest men, five of my greatest officers of uh, this whole war. The people who have been with me since the start. No one from this game, but only created officers based on how high their deeds are. These five have served me the greatest. These are the five created characters with the highest deeds. It's time to announce the, D the Dallas Salad Dressings. You all have been with me this whole time. This game has taken so long. This game has, I've been streaming this for like two months, I swear, it feels like it anyway. And we've gone through so much together. The fifth place member, and fifth is not low. There, we started with like 30 people. To round out the top five, our first man is the Ifrit's Flame. Bravo. 
You have bred so many horses. You're the number one horse breeder. You've done so much for us. Number four. Chad Thundercock. Without Chad Thundercock, we couldn't have done this. Chad was the first one to fall in battle back at the Battle of Jiangling. Third, the third member of the Dallas Salad Dressings was Miss Haru Rooney. Haru had the most OP built character when we were building characters before this war. We all knew this would come. She's been on the front lines almost every fight because she's got like a 90 war and an 80 everything else. Number two, Switzilla the Hun. This is a character made by my from my co-worker and just because he's got S class in the Juggernauts, he's been leading the Juggernaut war this whole time. And to round out our top five, the man who has the most merit, the most deeds in our whole army, who's been with us since the very beginning, has seen it all, and has truly put his life on the line for this cause. The Gatored Ski. A round of applause, everyone. Gator defended Han Zong. He maybe even got confused a thousand times and was on fire literally a bunch. Give a round of applause for our DSDs. Bravo. Bravo. We couldn't have done it without you guys. You, 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 you couldn't have done it. Couldn't have done it without any of you. Amazing work. Thank you. Thank you for everything. In the year of our Lord 2021, some are not yet ready to shed the entanglements of their pasts. One such case, for RDS, is his beloved new, old, iPod. A full price purchase, one can only hope that this relic of a bygone era can bring him happiness untold. Real Dallas Salad is many things, but he is not impolite. When the time comes for a Twitch stream to end, he shall always bid his viewers adieu, with a string of phrases and well wishes. Everybody, thanks for coming to my birthday stream. Stream again on Wednesday. Catch you later. Uh, ski you my roll the boat. Tip your waitress. And stay crisp. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you for your birthday wishes. Good night. Wink. On the note of streams, a very select few Real Dalla Salad streams feature a unique form of content, live speedruns. Always striving to beat former times in games such as Hello Neighbor, Real Dalla Salad is said to reward himself well for performances, good and bad alike. The Jax Packs, and yes, you heard me right. The Jax Packs was formed during RDS's early days streaming Fall Guys. Finding himself with only wolf-themed costume pieces, he assembled a motley crew of other furries to compete with, dubbing their club the Jax Packs. Another rare form of content Real Dallas Salad's artwork is sometimes created live for his viewers. Sadly, recordings of these streams have not survived, and are thus considered the holy grail of Real Dallas Salad lost media. Speaking of art, whether it is for love, fashion, utility, or storytelling, Real Dallas Salad and gay cat boys have a special bond. Examples of and connections to such creations can be found throughout RDS's online presence. A self-imposed title for a unique brand of interests. Real Dallas Salad is sometimes elsewhere known as Trap Master. Needless to say, these are not the Scooby-Doo kinds of traps though they might be involved nonetheless. 
Horse girls, gay cat boys, and traps all fall into the melting pot of lust known as real Dallas salad. How are we doing, seekers of truth? Are your nerves yet shaken? Are your preconceived notions shattered? I certainly hope not, as we have yet to even truly explore the murky underbelly of R.D.S. Let us bear witness, then, to the beginning of the end. Let us all sink down to the bottom of the iceberg. A uniquely American establishment, the features of Hooters have drawn in our subject. And yes, that is despite his love of gay cat boys and traps. Needless to say, to bring in a man like this, those wings must be delicious. One taste that RDS can't seem to acquire is that of ice cream. One way or another, he is simply not a fan, much to the chagrin of those close to him. Real Dallas Salad has a complex and ever-changing relationship with facial hair. Sometimes bare, sometimes bearded, his bushiness never stays as consistent as his head covering. What do you think, dear viewers? Do you prefer your real Dallas salad with or without the peel? Great wealth comes naturally to a man as lucky and talented as real Dallas salad. Unlike the corporate dragons known for sitting upon their piles of gold, however, RDS will use his fortune to experience the brighter sides of life. He can frequently be found in the front few rows of airplanes. Keep your eyes peeled. Real Dallas Salad is a working man, but not always. When life decides to throw him a curveball of truncated work hours, RDS simply rolls with the punches. He simply loves two hour work days. As though one hat was not enough, on occasion, real Dallas Salad can be seen sporting an additional hat above the first. This Team Fortress 2 inspired look emphasizes his multifaceted lifestyle and multiple professions. We've spoken of hats and beards, but have you noticed, dear viewer? Yes, real Dallas Salad is the proud owner of his very own mullet. This, however, is no ordinary mullet. No, this is a work of art, a thing of beauty. So why don't we see it more? Because we are not emotionally equipped to see such magnificence, it would seem. It is rumored that his love and jokes regarding Bud Light Seltzer have culminated in a real secret sponsorship from Budweiser to promote the line of seltzers. There is, after all, no way a man in his right mind would simply choose to purchase that many cases of it. I also grabbed a delicious Bud Light Seltzer lemonade. Have you tried Bud Light Seltzer Lemonade? It's a lemonade seltzer made from Bud Light. It's got more flavor than your grandma's lemonade. And not just open a delicious Bud Light Seltzer, which is what I'm gonna do first. 
No, the sponsorship must be real, and he simply reaps the benefits. My Little Pony. Perhaps RDS2 wants to pretend that airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars. But yes, this theory is absolutely confirmed. <laughs> Bye. Bye, pick and play. Stream's over. Nice to see ya. Come earlier next time, idiot. Wink. Another of Real Dallas Salad's many aliases, Bakugan Fan69420, is a reviewer on Metacritic, giving arguably subpar games arguably overinflated scores. Shame on you, Real Dallas Salad. There is no way the Game Boy Advance entry of Fear Factor is that good. This iceberg entry is somewhat vague, though it is likely bled over from Real Dallas Salad's interests, as noted earlier. Simply combine his love of traps and lust for Hooters wings, and voila, Femboy Hooters becomes an RDS dream destination. An unknown couple graces the desk of Real Dallas Salad, Tommy and Rosalina can be found framed in Real Dallas Salad's workspace, keeping him company always. Who these two are and their relationship to RDS is shrouded in mystery. It is rumored that he attended their wedding in the Swiss Alps, though nothing has been confirmed. In fact, I have framed on my uh, desk the Christmas card of Tommy with his girl. So I know he's busy. Back there on my desk, nice and framed. They are. Skin Worry not, your faithful guide is still by your side. But I must warn you, we are nearing the end. Before us lies the deepest, the darkest, and the most depraved depths to which those of us here at the Facto can possibly bear to show you this evening. We are braving new territory indeed. Speculation. Some truths are buried so deep that our grasp may fall short. Nevertheless, we persist into dark waters. By his own admission, Real Dallas Salad acts as the town drunk, no matter the town. Though it is believed that this nickname was bestowed upon him by colleagues, his ownership of such a public problem is, in a word, inspiring. But it is known to get him into trouble. I swear I'm not gay! Yeah. It's one thing to be as obsessed with phallic objects as real Dallas Salad is. It is another, however, to... well... So first things first, put on some gloves. Is RDS straight, or is he something more? Friends and fiends, we will let you be the judge.
One of many rumored secret groups run by Real Dallas Salad, the Green Dragon Collective appears to house just a few members, with our subject himself ruling with an iron fist. Their cause is unknown, but if the iconography is any indication, they are dedicated to the superior Green Apple. Yet another alias. Its origins are unknown, but clearly rooted in internet subculture. When acting under this name, Real Dallas Salad is said to be ruthless, belligerent, and quote, horny as hell. That's right. A crime among men, and a sin against God. Real Dallas Salad has been pictured covering his beautiful locks with... wigs. It is simply too painful to look at. Friends, fiends, this is it. We have reached the summit. Though your perspective has been widened, do not let it fool you. The peak we have just reached lies far below anything you have ever witnessed. There is no going back. We are in too deep now, you and I. We must face our fear and expose the truth. The truth of real Dallas Salad. It's time to end this. Welcome to the Abyss. Couple of Schlubs is a recently abandoned YouTube channel featuring Real Dallas Salad and a few of his friends with videos dating back to 2018. <laughs> oh, I'm just going down because I'm so hurt. It bit my neck twice and my stomach hurts. <laughs> oh. Maybe you're uh, swallowing all the blood from your neck. <laughs> oh fuck, that was really loud in go. my ear. There you go. <laughs> With 29 subscribers, this promising, horror-dedicated channel seems to have grown the charm of real Dallas Salad and his gaming abilities for the Twitch career we know today. They can. Yeah! I See if you can switch that angle up on us. I can't, yeah. Like, uh, okay, he's not here. Okay. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Back up! Oh no! Oh, I didn't back up! <laughs> ah! I didn't heed your warning! My neck! <laughs> Run! Oh. Okay. Oh, you gotta man, be like, I'm, I'm so at the hurt. last chop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so injured. There, you can go back. Oh, wait, there's more back here though. Look, we better inform back to Wesker. Oh, damn it. Uh... Another talent, another life. A youthful, real Dallas Salad was the lead singer in a small outfit known simply as Troid. Their work was experimental, emotional, and genre defining. The band's whereabouts are unknown at this time, though it is entirely likely that the members have gone their separate ways. Still, just imagine what might have been.
Though exceedingly rare, images can be found of real Dallas Salad exposing his true, beautiful hair to the world. It is magnificent, and it is moving beyond words. This sight was once only for the most blessed among us, but it was stolen away. Real Dallas Salad hides this beauty beneath his collection of hats. We here at the Facto can only ask, why? What is there to hide? The greatest question surrounding Real Dallas Salad. The obvious rabbit hole we find ourselves falling down again and again. What is below that hat? There is a secret so dark, so shameful, that Ardias had no choice but to sacrifice his hair to protect it. There are many theories. Frosted tips gone wrong. A mohawk so sharp that it took a man's life. A halo belonging to the angel who walks among men. These theories, however, are nothing but conjecture. No, we believe there is one truth. One fact which ties everything together. The name Real Dallas Salad, the hats, the inability to commit to one sports team, the multiple personas, a taste for Hooters food but not ice cream, it can all be explained. This will be difficult, but for the sake of truth we must confront the abyss below the hat. Our team has created a likeness which some of our friends and fiends at home may find shocking. Please, send your children to bed, and sit if you are standing. Viewer discretion once more is advised. The truth of real Dallas salad is... It will be enough to boggle the mind. Wherein Peggy Hill seeks to compete in a boggle tournament. Here we are. Not only have we reached the core of truth, we have survived it. I bear witness to you, real Dallas Salad. I know who you are, who you were, and who you wish to be. I have exposed your secrets to the world at large. You have fooled many, but no longer. If you seek retribution, you know where to find me. And to you, my loyal viewers, thank you from the bottom of my heart for joining me on this quest. Together, we stand strong enough to face any truth, no matter how depraved it might be. This concludes tonight's program, but our search for truth never ceases. So, until next time, friends and fiends, I have been Marvin de facto, and that is the facto.
Good night. Hello, some Sonic Kid uh, reporting here from the editing dungeon. Uh, I hope you, everybody, the viewers, I hope everyone enjoyed watching the video. This project uh, was one I dreamed up a while back, and it was actually supposed to be a uh, a birthday present for Dallas. Uh, unfortunately, the the scope and the project I had envisioned um, ended up taking a lot more time to create but I didn't want to compromise uh, so I am sorry I, it took so long Dallas um, but I, I really wanted to make this project good and make it last um, I did all sorts of new stuff I got new audio equipment I tried new uh, recording techniques new editing techniques um, I wrote a script which I never do for any of my skits um, so that was new for me too uh, so I hope all the work showed, and I hope it was fun to watch. I'm sorry it ended up being so long, um, but it was a joy to make. Um, and speaking of the content, if you would like to see me create more content like this, go ahead and drop a follow and a subscription over at twitch.tv slash realdallassalad, uh, the subject of the video. Dallas is an amazing streamer, a dear friend, um, and he deserves all the love in the world. I would not be here without him. Uh, Dallas, to you, if and when you're watching, <laughs> I'm, I meant no offense by anything in this video. Uh, I hope you take it with a good sense of humor, and I know you will. Uh, but seriously, I love you, man, and I, I hope you enjoyed it. And a very happy, belated birthday to you. All right, well, I've been working on this project for about three weeks now. And I am tired, so I'm going to go take a nap now. Uh, but yes, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.